CRIEnglish.com, connecting China with the world. This is the 2012 World Expo, a showcase of culture and technology from around the world. This year it's being held in the South Korean city of Yosu. Many countries have their own pavilions here. And one of the biggest belongs to China. Hello, welcome to China Pavilion. Now we're in the first section of China Pavilion. And this is the theme of China Pavilion, One Ocean, One Home. Jai Fan is from East China's Shandong province. She works at the Chinese Pavilion as a volunteer, introducing the exhibition to visitors and there's a lot to talk about. Now here are some pictures of the painting by Chinese children in the competition that held by China, Korea and Japan for this exposition and there are all uh, 628 pictures. Uh, we work for uh, several hours a day and our work mainly includes uh, introduce, intro, introduction, introducing the exhibitions of our pavilion to the uh, guests and to the tourists. I feel very honored and uh, very honored to have a chance to represent our country, to show the uh, culture, history, and also the traditions of China to the whole world. Yes. Now we come to the um, Dolphin Dynamic Theater. Here we will have a movie about a Chinese girl and Chinese white dolphins. Yeah. The main theme of the Yosu Expo is how cities can successfully exist by the ocean. It's a question relevant to China, which has around 15,000 kilometers of coastline. China is a, a, a country with a long uh, coastal lines and also is also a large ocean country. You know that, um, you know that uh, about uh, uh, over 40 percent of the population are living on the uh, coastal areas and uh, the uh, the economic development is quite uh, developed uh, in comparison with the hinterland or the western part of uh, China. Actually, the the uh, economic economic the GDP uh, produced in the coastal areas can account for over 60 percent of the total GDP in China. The Chinese pavilion is one of the most popular at the expo and pulls in around 4,000 visitors per day. Most of them are from South Korea. We're from Korea. There's no specific reason why we came to the Chinese pavilion, but we've seen some small countries' pavilions and wanted to see some big countries too. But we were particularly interested to learn about China's efforts to protect the white dolphin. <laughs> I recently visited Shanghai. I'm really interested in China and Chinese culture and want to know more about the country, so I came here. And I think the pavilion's beautiful. While the Chinese pavilion is attracting crowds, the overall number of people visiting the expo has been below expectations. I'm standing outside the main entrance of the Yosu Expo and Although there's one or two people milling around, the average numbers here are much lower than those expected by the organizers. The initial plan was to attract 10 million visitors during the three-month event. However, one month after opening, little more than a million had arrived. If that trend continues, it's expected the total number of visitors would be 5 million. Half the original target. And little reason for applause. Some say the lack of people is due to the location. Yosu is a small coastal city with a population of a few hundred thousand. It's located on the southern tip of South Korea, about as far as you can get from the capital Seoul. 
which some believe is the problem. Because the Yeosu is very far from the uh, country city in Seoul, and then not, uh, that is the most uh, problem in Expo. Because they have to, we have to very ex expense uh, the ticket and the and maybe we have the very wrong time and the Kyoto traffic traffic is too traffic has all the expensive and there are other smaller problems too Yu Xuan is a Chinese volunteer at Expo she speaks Korean and English and helps at various locations around the site including the information desk at the train station the very serious problem is they don't have locker in the stations. So many people uh, who don't want to go come inside, they should carry their very heavy bags, bags. And it's very uncomfortable for the trip. And there are not so many restaurants around the station. The organizers are trying to address the issue. One tactic has been to invite a number of popular Korean musicians to perform, which seems to be having some success, despite the weather. But the visitors that did make the trip seem to have enjoyed themselves, despite the occasional rainy day. It's raining today. Is, is that a big problem? No, it's it, then it's not that much problem because my heart is beating. <laughs> the challenge of increasing visitor numbers is likely to have the organizers' hearts beating too.